So, when you're going to solve for the four corners, the first thing you need to know is just the exact same as when you solve for the cross, is that even though this sticker is green, you also have to make sure that this side is yellow, but you have one more side to worry about. You have to make sure that this side is orange. So you need the green, yellow, and orange corner piece, so that way it fits with the green, yellow, and orange side. So you look around the cube to find the, the cube that has the green, orange, and yellow sticker. It's right here. You have to get this piece right here to be in the bottom layer. That way, when you move it, it does not get rid of any of the cross that you've already solved. So what you need to do is you need to take this piece and just put it on the bottom layer. So you have to take the whole uh, right side and move it inverted. Just that way so this piece gets on the bottom. Now you need to get this piece out of the way so you can put this piece back up here where it was. So all you gotta do is just move the down face just once. So that way you can move this back up and the cross is still intact. You have not messed anything up. But now the piece that needs to go here is directly below where it needs to go. So now you gotta hold it as though this piece is in the bottom right hand side. Because to get this up here without messing up the cross is when your next uh, algorithm comes into play. That algorithm is only four um, moves long, which is right inverted, down inverted, right, down. You may have to repeat this up to six times, and I'll show you why. So what you do is you right inverted, down inverted, right, down. You may have to do this more because even though the cube is now in the right spot, the green, orange, and yellow is still now with the green, orange, and yellow piece, but the stickers are not in the right spots. So you have to do the same algorithm again to move it into the right spots. So it's right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Now it's right here, so you need to do it again right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Now it is perfectly in place. The green, orange, and yellow sides are exactly how they need to be. So you have now successfully completed one of the corners. So now we move on to the next. The next one we need is the green, white, and orange side. So we look around the cube for the green, white, and orange side. It's already here it is. It's already on the bottom for you, so we don't have to do any extra moves. And on top of that, it's already directly below where it needs to go. So we can jump right to our algorithm. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down down. So now it's exactly where it needs to be. We continue doing this until all four uh, corner pieces are in place. So I'm going to go a little bit quicker here. This is the green, red, and white side, so we need to find the green, red, and white cube. Here it is. So we need to move it directly below where it needs to go, which is right here. Now it's in place. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down, 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 right inverted, down inverted, right, down. So now we only have one corner left, and it's already where it needs to be, it just needs to be changed so the stickers are in the right position. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, and lastly, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. So now you have officially solved the first solid color of your Rubik's Cube. But if you've done it correctly, you've also solved the first layer of the cube.